This is Fact and Legends, and here are five unknown facts about the Titanic. Let's dive in. Number 5. The Lockup Binoculars There are conflicting accounts regarding the availability of binoculars for the crow's nest on the Titanic. The crow's nest was a small lookout platform located at the top of the ship's forward mast for a lookout to stand. One version suggests that an officer accidentally took the key to the locker containing the binoculars with him when he left the ship in Southampton. However, other versions state that the binoculars were either not in the locker or were left behind in his cabin. It is also suggested that the officer may have taken the binoculars as his personal set. Regardless of the specific details, it is established that the lookout, Frederick Fleet, did not have access to binoculars on the night of the collision with the iceberg. Binoculars would have aided the lookouts in spotting hazards, such as icebergs, at a greater distance and with better clarity. Their absence forced Fleet and his colleague to rely solely on their naked eyes, making it more difficult to detect the iceberg in the darkness. Number 4. The Band's Final Performance The band, led by Wallace Hartley, continued to play music in an effort to calm and uplift the passengers during the chaotic and terrifying moments leading up to the ship's demise. As the Titanic was slowly sinking into the icy waters of the North Atlantic, the band gathered on the deck near the Grand Staircase. They played a variety of songs, including hymns and popular tunes of the time, providing a sense of comfort and solace to the passengers who were desperately trying to evacuate the ship or find safety. Eyewitness accounts from survivors testify to the band's unwavering commitment and bravery. The band's last song is often believed to be Nearer, My God, To Thee, although this has been a subject of debate. Regardless of the exact song, their final performance is considered a powerful symbol of the human spirit in the face of impending doom. Sadly, all the members of the band perished in the sinking of the Titanic, but their actions have been celebrated as an act of bravery and selflessness, as they chose to continue playing and providing comfort until the very end. Number 3. Lifeboat Drill Cancellation The scheduled lifeboat drill on the Titanic, which aimed to familiarize passengers and crew with emergency procedures and lifeboat locations, was cancelled. Captain Edward Smith may have decided to cancel the drill because he wanted to deliver one last Sunday service before he went into full retirement. Additionally, the belief in the Titanic's unsinkability played a role, as the ship was seen as a technological marvel and marketed as unsinkable. This led to a sense of complacency among some passengers and crew who believed that lifeboat drills were unnecessary due to the perceived invulnerability of the ship. The cancellation of the lifeboat drill proved to be a chilling aspect of the disaster as it left many on board unfamiliar with lifeboat procedures, contributing to the loss of life during the sinking. Number 2. She survived three wrecks. Did you know that there was a woman on board the Titanic who survived the sinking of the Titanic in 1912? Her sister shipped the RMS Britannica in 1916, as well as having been on board the eldest of the three sister ships the Olympic when it collided with the British warship Hawk in 1911. Her name was Violet Jessup and she was a stewardess. She had survived the Titanic by joining a lifeboat. But just four years later, she was on board the Britannic when it sank. During the sinking of the Britannic, Jessup and other passengers faced a dangerous situation as the ship's propellers shredded lifeboats that collided with them. Jessup had to jump out of her lifeboat, which resulted in a head injury. She witnessed the Britannic's descent describing how it dipped and disappeared into the depths, with all the deck machinery falling into the sea. And for our number one fact, did you know that there was a book that predicted the sinking of the Titanic with mind-boggling accuracy? This book was titled Futility or the Wreck of the Titan by Morgan Robertson, and was published in 1898, 14 years before the sinking of the Titanic. The book tells the story of a fictional ocean liner, the Titan, which strikes an iceberg and sinks on its maiden voyage. The predictions are scarily accurate. For example, the ship would be called the Titan. The ship would be the largest afloat. The ship would strike an iceberg on its maiden voyage. The ship would sink in just a few hours. The number of lifeboats would be insufficient to save all of the passengers and crew. The sinking would be a major news event. It appears as though this author had uncanny foresight, given the remarkable accuracy of these details. From the untold stories of bravery, to the chilling oversights that contributed to its tragic end, the Titanic's legacy resonates through the decades. It remains one of the most captivating and tragic stories in maritime history. 
We kindly ask for your support by subscribing to our channel and showing your appreciation for this video with a like. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue creating engaging content. Thanks for watching.